Um, he hasn't trained with the team yet, but um, <coughs> excuse me, um, that ankle is improving, and we'll take it week by week. And you know, like we said uh, yesterday in the release, hopefully by the end of the month um, we'll have him back on the field. Uh, that's all dependent on how he goes day to day, but um, a, l uh, a lot of positives. Tyler had some stiffness two weeks ago, and. Uh, we gave him the weekend and upon some further investigation from the medical team there's a there's a new injury so um, obviously with his history we'll give him all the time that he that he needs and we'll treat that very conservatively um, so we'll just take it week by week on him um, obviously he's, he's one of our, our top players and, and another fly off and a leader in our group and um, I think the most important thing is is uh, is Tyler himself as a as a man going forward after rugby. So we look after him very well, and then you know hopefully he recovers pretty soon and, and get back on the field pretty soon. Well, uh, firstly, uh, Jeremy again. We we uh, we're not going to go to surgical route at this stage. Uh, he's from that sense he's he's done well over the over the last week. Uh, still. A long way to go with him, um, so you know he won't be available in, in the next few weeks. And Dave's progressing well. Uh, uh, did a bit of running. Um, he's itching to to get going. Um, obviously, he hasn't played after the World Cup, and uh, he hasn't been involved in, in team training either. So, you know, as soon as we get him back on on the pitch with, with the team, we can we can look at, at selection. But um, that's still a bit off. But you know, uh, at least they are, are recovering pretty well and. No, I'd love to have them uh, this weekend. Uh, as you know, any coach wants wants his full squad every weekend, but they're recovering well.